Dear Ariel, I hope that you're doing well and I'm going to go so far as to speak for many others. We hope you're doing well. This video is to say thank you so much for this Catlia Lodi Jesse I crossed with Guariantha Skinnery. Guess what? No, not the obvious, but guess what? Michael McCarthy gave me the actual name of this primary hybrid and it is such a fitting beautiful name. Her name is Catlia Astraea. Having said that, if I were to have her in such amazing condition that she would look perfect and would win an award at a show, I would have her named Catlia Astraea Ariel. Now to the elephant in the room. Correction. The elephant on the screen. These are her first blooms since you gifted her to me back in 2020 when we could still send each other orchids before Brexit kicked in. Growing orchids can be an agonizingly slow process, but suddenly when an orchid finally blooms for the first time, the years of care preceding the blooming are totally erased and it feels like time flew. I don't know if you ever had this orchid in your collection. It has been such a long time that we've had a chance to have a look-see at what you are doing and if your orchids are doing well, if you are doing well. But let me tell you about her fragrance. Even during the past days of dull darkness and cold in the grow space, I could smell her rose fragrance. But it carries a refreshing note of freshly cut lemons. Now that she's outside and there's some warmth in the air, I have to be concerned that some pollinator is going to come along and ruin the experience for me. That is how fragrant she is now. I love the color combination of the blooms. It reminds me of a fell that I was wanting at one point in time, the pink petals and sepals with the clean white lip. Well, I do not need that fell anymore. The Astraea is making that wishful thinking a thing of the past. Oh, and speaking of fowls, remember Ninja Yellow? The one you sent me when I was still trying to figure out what I have to improve to get my other fowls to grow well in lecker and self-watering? Yeah, she misses you as well. She's in Spike and I hope that this time around she won't blast the buds like she has done in the past two years. Anyway, back to Astraea here. She is a vigorous orchid. In 2023, she grew seven new growths. It's just insane. At one point, her two growing points had two new growths each and each developed beautifully. And then I was starting to get a little worried, but in a fun way. No blooms all these years, but such a joy to see her bigger. If the four leads had each grown another two new growths, well, <laughs> we will need a bigger pot, but it turned out to be inadverted commas, just three. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to worry about at all <laughs> with this orchid. And she loves the self-watering setup clearly. Seeing as this is her first blooming, I cannot say how long the blooms will last. My conditions may affect the longevity as well, but I'm glad that I don't have to worry about any energy consumption being too taxing. And in this way, I can let her bloom out in her own timing. She's definitely not struggling for structures. Anyway, no pressure. This open letter is to express express my appreciation to show you that she is still with us doing well and in bloom for the first time. Again, thank you so much for this beauty. Know that you are missed, not forgotten, and I hope that one day you see this video and that it makes you smile, just like this orchid makes me smile, blooms or not. But now, a massive face-freezing grin is on my face. <laughs> Thank you also for being such an amazing friend. And thank you for watching if your name is not Ariel or the Orchid Room for that matter. Please give this video a like. I would so appreciate that. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, that would also be so appreciated if you were to take a moment to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you have yourself a beautiful day on the condition though that you stay safe. Take care. Bye. Muchas gracias, Ariel, por esta linda orquídea. Un abrazo muy fuerte.